There's a reason that I, I say that I really like corrupt politicians, rude politicians. A friend was recently talking about, there's a, there's a politician in, in my neck of the woods that is uh, notoriously uh, just a rude guy and, and he doesn't really care and uh, uh, he's not that bright, doesn't have that much world life experience uh, in, in you know philosophy and, and logic and reason and those kinds of things, uh, but he's rude to people. And this person was, you know, kind of thinking, "Hey, this isn't right. He's an elected official. Uh, he should be he should be treating treating me better than this, and treating other people better too." And uh, so she made the comment, and and then I started thinking, and I and I kind of uh, realized, no, I love the ruder that a politician is, the happier I am. I don't want them to pretend like they're listening to me and like they care what I have to say and. And, you know, I remember a, a, an old politician guy at Rotary Club, this was probably 15 years ago, sitting there just shaking his head and laughing about how, uh, you know, the joke is that people think that, that he listens to them. And uh, you sit there and you listen and you try to get onto another topic as soon as possible. Uh, you know, or people write the letters to him. <laughs> he was just laughing about how useless it was. So that's that's actually good with me. The more that politicians brag about that and the, the poorer that they treat people, the happier I am. Because in the end, what they're doing is basically uh, they're, they're telling me how to live. They're taking my money without my permission. That's called theft. But I don't like anything that politicians do or stand for. So when they're rude, when they're nasty, yeehaw, go guys, amen. Be rude. Keep it up. Let everybody know what you really like down deep.